What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to Cool Tech Under 50 Bucks where I basically scoured through Amazon and find some really cool tech products and share them with you guys. Now I've actually done some in the past and it's actually a very popular series that you guys enjoy watching and in case you missed some of the episodes I'll go ahead and link the playlist down below in the description section. You'd be surprised on the kind of stuff you guys see in these episodes so if you guys have some time definitely go check them out. But anyways with that said, let's go ahead and start the video. Alright, so the first three products on the list are from Kuchir and first up we have a portable water resistant power bank with a 7500 mAh battery capacity. It's compact with aluminum plates for the front and back wrapped in silicone. It is essentially a waterproof, dustproof and shockproof power bank made for the outside. It features two high-speed USB charging ports with different outputs depending on the device you are charging. One port is used for smartphones, wireless headphones, or smaller items, whereas the other port is used for larger devices like tablets, and you can even charge both at the same time. You can also activate its built-in flashlight by holding down the power button, and by pressing the button once, it will activate the LED, which will then display how much juice is left on the power bank. The next item from Kuchir doesn't have one or two, or 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or even 9, but 10 USB ports, god damn. The first 7 are USB 3.0 ports, whereas the last 3 are specifically made for charging with two 1 amp outputs and a single 2.1 amp output for larger devices like tablets. So if you are ever in need of 10 USB ports, then this product has your name written all over it. One side connects to your PC via USB 3 and the other connects to the power outlet. This is a perfect alternative to USB hubs and chargers in one. The next product which is my personal favorite from all the products mentioned in this video is this LED desk lamp with a touch sensitive control panel. This is from Kuchir as well and it's no ordinary desk lamp. It's the most flexible lamp that I have ever seen and you can rotate the entire lamp 180 degrees, raise the head up to 140 degrees, Rotate the light head 180 degrees and even tilt the entire neck up to 40 degrees. I mean, this thing is qualified for the Olympics. But that's not even my favorite part. The reason why I love this lamp so much is the fact that I can control the light all on this touch sensitive panel. It has four different modes and a 60 minute option which automatically turns off the lamp after, well, 60 minutes. This thing even has a built in USB port on the side. I mean, how much more awesome can this lamp get? You can also adjust the brightness level by tapping the arrows. So this is in a pitch black room with maximum brightness and you can dim it down 4 notches. For the modes we have reading, studying, relaxing and sleeping which are all pre-configured already inside the lamp. The lamp is also energy saving, it costs 80% less energy than traditional incandescent lamps but offering the same level of brightness. But yeah, overall a very solid LED lamp and it doesn't even take up much space on my desk since I can fold it when not in use. Next up on the list is the aluminum Bluetooth selfie stick from Levin. Now once again, this is no ordinary selfie stick and you will see soon enough what I'm talking about. So the stick is super compact and you can extend it up to 2.72 feet. It's also really durable and sturdy as you can see. It features a really simple locking mechanism. Twisting it counterclockwise will unlock it and once you extend it as much as you want, just simply twist the pole clockwise to lock it in place. The phone mount can fit most smartphones, even ones with bulky cases since you can stretch it out. And the stick also comes with this button which you can pair via Bluetooth to your smartphone and take pictures remotely. It also comes with a strap that you can attach to the pole for convenience. Now I'm not really a selfie kind of guy, but I did have fun using the stick for other things. Now if you're not into selfies, then you can turn this into a really nice tripod for shooting videos. Just screw in the included tripod accessory and you are good to go. Now because you can extend the neck piece up to 2.72 feet, you can really get some nice footage of places you never could before. 
Next up, we have a multi-angle stand for tablets or smartphones from Anchor. I personally prefer the black one instead of the silver, and I do have a few of these to hold my smartphones up, and I think it really adds an overall nice look to this setup. It can hold tablets as well, and you can adjust the angle to any degree you desire by pressing down the button on the side. Another cool product that can help you guys out with cable management are these cable drops I picked up from Blue Lounge. I stuck them behind the table and routed the micro USB cables through them to clean up the overall look of the desk when they are not in use. If you guys are wondering where I got those awesome carbon fiber skins, then I'll leave a link in the description section on where you can pick up some D-brand skins for yourselves. I also use cable drops to route cables underneath the desk. For this setup, I attached the battery charger for my GH4 underneath the desk using 3M tape and routed the cable using cable drops. I'll also link the 3M tape I used down below for those of you that are interested. Next up, we have a waterproof case for the iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 6 from Easy Life. Rated IP68, this case will keep your iPhone dry up to 6.6 .6 feet underwater. So with this case, you get a lanyard, a microfiber cloth, and a headphone extension cable, along with an installation guide. The design of the case is very similar to other waterproof cases, but a fraction of the price. The buttons are easy to press, which is a huge plus. However, the vibrate switch may take some getting used to, as it does require a little more force to use. The ports are just big enough for original accessories. Unfortunately, they won't be compatible with most third-party cables. However, they did offer an extension cable for the headphone jack. Here's a quick waterproof test of the case. Now I did submerge it for about 5 minutes in cold water and as you can see the phone is still on. You can't really use the phone underwater which is expected but once you pull it out you shouldn't have any problems once you dry the screen. Also here is a sound test for those of you wondering how the speakers sound with the case on and without. Got a little surprise for you son. No, 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 dad! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I am. You're not getting a Porsche. <laughs> Let me tell you something, son. A driver don't pick the cars. Mm -hmm. The cars pick the driver. It's a mystical bond between man and machine. Speaking of waterproof, the last product is waterproof earphones from Jabbies. It comes in a bunch of colors and a full charge will get you up to 6 hours of music. You have the charging port and power button on one side of the earphones and on the other you will find the media controls along with a button to accept and end calls. The earphones do have a built-in microphone so you can make calls with it if you choose to. Now the comfort level is a 7 out of 10 if I had to rate it since I'm not really used to these types of earbuds. It's not as soft as I would have liked. The sound quality on the other hand is not bad at all. You get really crispy sound with decent bass. Now I didn't go swimming in a pool with these on but I did take a shower with them and no water got into my ears and I was able to enjoy the music without any problems. It also comes in this neat little carrying case. Anyways, that's it for the video. Um, I will leave links to the products I mentioned in the video down below in the description section. If you guys enjoy watching these types of videos, then let me know by leaving a like on the video so I know to keep doing them. Um, I've also done some in the past. Like I said, if you somehow missed it, then I'll leave a playlist to those videos down below for my other cool tech videos. Chances are you guys will find something that you're interested in. So if you guys have a chance, definitely check them out. But anyways, thanks again for watching. This is Ed from TechSource. I will see you guys in the next video.